These television lenses start with a very precise design. A diamond blade slices up a block of specially selected optical glass, while coolant prevents the blade from burning it. The slices then go under a diamond drill, which cuts several puck-sized discs from one glass slice. The operator is careful to keep waste to a minimum. Optical glass costs up to $1,000 per kilogram. During the drilling, the optical glass sits on a thinner piece of glass covered with wax. As the wax is melted, the discs are easily pulled away. Next, a device spins one of the discs while a wheel overhead sculpts it into a lens. The operator checks each lens for chips, and this one looks smooth. This tar-like substance is called pitch. The edges of the lenses have been built up with tape to contain the pitch. They completely coat the underside of the lens with it. Several pitch-covered lenses are now in a metal shell. A worker picks up a hot aluminum dome called a blocking body. He presses it onto the pitch-covered lenses and the pitch melts onto it. Dousing it with water causes the pitch to harden, sealing the lenses to the blocking body. The blocking body is now upside down and acting as a holding device as it oscillates on a spinning grinding shell. The grinding makes the surface of the lenses uniform and smooth. They place a polisher on the lenses. It's lubricated with a very fine abrasive. For about an hour, the polisher oscillates while the block spins. Polishing makes the lenses smooth and transparent. It also gives them an even more curved profile. <laughs> 